and in this video we are going to see pigeonhole principle uh, this pigeonhole principle is one of the important topic in discrete mathematics compulsory you will get uh, one mcq actually in this pandemic time we are they are conducting uh, mcq pattern question so that's why you have to give uh, one uh, one or two problem they may ask from this pigeonhole principle let's start what is pigeonhole principle if n pigeons are assigned to n pigeonholes your n denotes pigeon and m denotes pigeonhole principle at least one pigeonhole will contain two or more pigeons this is your principle and generalized pigeonhole principle formula this is your formula for pigeonhole n minus 1 divided by m plus 1 where n is the pigeon and m is the pigeonhole so this is the concept for pigeonhole principle let's have a look the problem show that if seven colors are used to paint 50 bicycle then at least eight bicycles will have the same color our answer would be eight bicycles will have the same color so this is your question so before going to this pigeonhole principle let us identify which is pigeon and which is pigeonhole principle for here i am going to give a one tip so always pigeon is denoted by n pigeonhole principle is denoted by m so what is the tip means that n value must be greater m must be small so this is the tip for this or uh, this uh, pigeonhole principle problem okay so first you have to identify which is pigeon show that if seven colors are used to, to paint 50 bicycle so by here the pigeon is bicycles The pigeon is by uh, here. The pigeon is bicycles and uh, pigeon hold bicycles and pigeon hold is colors. Pigeon hold is colors. Okay. Now, mm, uh, yeah, pigeon value. What is the value of uh, yen value is fifty here and how many colors? Seven colors. So yen is equal to seven. And formula for pigeon hole principle is n minus 1 divided by m plus 1. So the value of n is here 50 minus 1 divided by 7 colors plus 1. So 50 minus 1 is 49 divided by 7. 7 plus 1, the answer is 8. So have a look. Next problem. Prove that in any group of six people, at least three must be mutual friends and three must be mutual strangers. So this is our question. First, uh, you have to identify which is pigeon and which is pigeon hole principle. So before that, uh, how many people they given? Six people. Okay. So in that group, there are six people. So from the six people, I'm going to take one person out. I'm going to take one person out. For that one person of mean five, 6 minus 1, so remaining 5. Okay, I am taking one person out, remaining 5. For that one person have uh, two set of friends. From this 5, uh, one, uh, one is two set of group. One group is friends from this 5, one group is fr friends for the that person. And another set is stranger for that concerned person. So, this is the concept of this problem. So, again I will tell you totally 6 people. From the 6 people you are taking 1 person out. If you are taking 1 person for that person's uh, friend, friends and strangers only we are going to identify. For that's why from 1 person take out means 6 minus 1 remaining 5 people will be there. That 5 people would be friends or strangers. So, we have 2 sets. Now let us identify which is uh, pigeon and which is pigeon hole principle. So I already told you pigeon is denoted by n and pigeon hole principle is denoted by m. So n al already gave a tip one, uh, one thing you have to remember n always greater compared to m. So here the value of m, n is 5 people. For that 5 people they have 2 set of one set is friend the other set is strangers. So the pigeon hole is 2 set. So 2 set. And formula for this pigeon hole principle, n minus 1 divided by m plus 1. So the value of n is 5, 5 minus 1 divided by 2 plus 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4 by 2, 4 by 2 means 2, 2 getting cancelled, 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. So listen, so at least 3 must be mutual friends and 3 must be mutual strangers. So we got the answer. 
3. Have a look. Next problem. A man hiked for 10 hours and covered a total distance of 45 km. It is known that he hiked 6 km in the first hour and only 3 km in the last hour. Show that he must have hiked at least 9 km within a certain period of consecutive hours. So, now let us start the solution. Before going to the solution, I will give, uh, give a tip using number line method. So, just I will put number line. Uh, first beginning, I am putting the stages. This is stages 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Okay, before that a man hiked for 10 hours. So 10 hours now from the beginning to 10 hours. From the beginning means you have to start the hours must be 0. So this is hour. So 0, uh, next to 1, 0, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the total hour is 10 hours. The total hour is 10 hours. Okay. The total hour is 10 hours. Uh, now let, let's see. A man hiked for 10 hours. So we did, we plot the number line method. 10 hours. And uh, he covered a total distance of 45 kilometers. So this total distance will, would be this total distance would be 45 km. Okay, let's, okay, very good. And uh, it is known that he hiked 6 km in the first hour. So, first hour means it denote, which means 0 to 1. For the first hour, he hiked how many kilometers? 6 km. For the last, last hour, 9 to 10, in that period, he hiked 3 km. Okay. 3 km. So, 3 km means you just add the 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 and total hour would be 45 km. So, 45 minus 9 is equal to 36. So, the remaining hours will be 36 km. The remaining km would be, so for this is uh, 6 km, for this is 3 km, that remaining would be 36 km. The remaining would be 36 km. 6 plus 3, 9. 45 minus 9 would be 36 km. Now we are going to, uh, uh, what is the pigeon? So pigeon is denoted by n. So the value of n must be greater. So the value of n is 36 km. Why I am taking 36 km? Because you have to leave the first 6 hour and also last 3 hours. So the remaining would be 36. So that's why I am considering here the value of n is 36 km. You may just you write 36. And remaining pigeon hole, the pigeon hole would be denoted by M. For that M, you have to leave the first hour, the first 0 to 1 hour, and the last hour, 10th hour, you should leave because that is over. That is totally different. They are asking uh, that remaining period, uh, that remaining period show that we must have hiked at least 9 km within a certain period of consecutive hour that remaining would be. So that's why we are taking the value of n is 36 and we are going to consider for pigeon hold m the remaining procedure. So first one hour over. So you have to take second and third hour. This is denoted by hour. Second hour and third hour and second and third hour, fourth and fifth hour, next sixth and uh, seventh hour, next eighth and ninth hour. You have to leave tenth hour because the tenth hour he hiked three kilometers. You have to leave first and also the last. The remaining consecutive only we are going to see. So totally how many sets are there? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore the pigeon hole is 4. Now the formula for pigeon hole principle is n minus 1 divided by m plus 1. Substitute the value of n is 36 minus 1 divided by 4 plus 1. If you solve this, you will get 9. Okay. So show that he must be hiked at least 9 km within a certain period of consecutive hours. Have a look. So in this video, we have covered the pigeon hole principle from, from the easy one to the toughest one. How to solve all the problems. The next, I will meet you in the next new video. Thank you and bye. If you want this type of video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so that you will get notification. Please share to your friends. Bye.